to Thursday and happy Halloween. Yes. Happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic, spooky Halloween so far. And something looks a bit off. Oh, I know. We should probably put on our skin. I feel about... However many pounds lighter skin is. You're looking so skinny right you're now. You're looking, you're just skin and bones. Let's put our skin on, shall we? Hello, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> How are you? And welcome to Not the Insane Asylum. Welcome to what is kind of the 2024 Jack Valentine Halloween special. Glad this you year it's you. a haul. <laughs> very scary, very spooky. Let's all just take a deep breath. But happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic <gasps> Halloween so far. Dirty. My strap fell out. I'm so sorry. I hope you're having a fantastic Halloween so far. Hopefully, Editing Jack posted this a bit earlier than normal because I would like you guys to be able to watch this before you start handing out, co not costumes, candy. Can you imagine how fun it would be to hand out trick costumes? trick or treaters. Because also, we will be handing out candy. Candy to costumed trick or treaters. Yes, we make we, will. we make treat bags that consist of all kinds of ooky spooky fun things. So we have oh, like so plastic spider rings, plastic fangs, bouncy balls, little like games. Oh, I we found slime this year. Uh, that I think is gonna yeah, be yeah. We got like pumpkin shaped Reese's, tons of candy, tons of like all different stuff that we put in ours. So we made up a hundred of those last weekend, and it took us literally like an hour and a half. The length or so. of the first Halloween. Time. We watched ho that's like our new tradition since moving into our house so in other words this was our second year in a row but we watch Halloween Town number one and we put together our treat bags and then this time we even had time to watch Charlie Brown's Peanuts Halloween after because it took so long I so, think you can't go wrong with the Peanuts man they are so fun yeah so anyways I hope you guys are having a good start at least to your Halloween or if you're seeing this after I hope you had a fantastic this one or if you're seeing this during trick-or-treating hello trick-or-treaters at the door this person's house is watching some very educational Hi. programming <laughs> So I do have a haul for you guys. We just thought we'd add some campiness and some spookiness to it anyways. Yeah! But I, it's it's really just like a regular bins haul. So this is actually from about a week ago. I went to the bins. Of course, Ryan was teaching, so it wasn't a day that he went with me. So oh, I yes. have some good stuff. Ryan has seen about half of this, but some of it actually was... Yeah, some of it was being cleaned and stuff, oh. so I don't think you've seen everything. I will say seen. my memory is that of a goldfish, so yeah. I don't remember a thing. As you can tell, because he has enough room in his snogging to put a paintbrush through it. I hope Bob Ross, like, when he would get bored, would just, like, stick his little paintbrush <laughs> in his hair. How fun would that be? These are kind of our default costumes. I always go to Dragula or Dadgula from Hocus Pocus, if anyone knows that. I feel it necessary to be an artiste as an artichair. Yeah, usually you have your charcuterie paintbrush palette. No, I have, like, an actual one. Oh, yeah, you do. I don't know where it it's is. In the I, didn't, I, did, I didn't dig it out. So I suppose we should get into the Ben's Hall. I'm not used to having my hair like this. This is wild. I feel like there was a little girl with a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. Little when she was good, she was very, very good. But when she was bad, she was horrid. I, n I have no idea. You've never heard that before? I do not. Mm. I do not. <laughs> So I found one pair of shoes, no bags, no, How cute no they accessories were. or anything, just one pair of shoes. And these are kids' shoes, so these are adorable. And these <laughs> are some crew cuts. They are children chic for crew cuts, so that must, I assume, be a collaboration, not like a line of theirs. Mm. I don't really know. But they're made in Spain. They're size 30, which I looked up. I think that's a boy's size 11. I don't know anything about children's okay. shoe sizing. Okay, is it 11 for an 11-year-old? I No. Because that's in sixth grade, and those sixth graders have like boats for feet. I don't know. They're I so cute. Know her. But I saw that the shoes from the, that collaboration do at least retail for a good amount. I mean, they're still kids' shoes, so I haven't got to listen to like 25 or something like that. Also, I think I do actually have like almost all this listed. Good. So, next up, kind of a throwback to Tuesday's video where Ryan showed you that he found a St. John. New with Tag. I found one too that's this actually really kind of similar, but of course, this is a bins find and mine is not new with Tag. So, it is the older label once again. And it's this longer navy blue, kind of like sailor blue coat. This it's is really so nice. Pretty. I love these shoulder. I love when shoulders have this. I don't really know what mm -hmm. this detail is called, but it's kind of like I always call it like a trench coat shoulder. It is so cute. So nice. I honestly 
might just send this into the real real because they have been listing St. John pretty well and it's been selling pretty quick on there. Now I know I probably Good. could get more selling it myself, but I would have to probably wait 10 times the amount of time for it to sell if I was selling it myself. Yeah. Next up is very Janet. Very Janet. What's Janet doing tonight? They are day. handing out candy to the nine little kids in their <laughs> neighborhood. My father buys like 500 pounds of Halloween candy and then they only have like 10 trick-or-treaters. They live in like a newer area. So at some point they'll probably get a lot more trick-or-treaters, but it's like too new right now that like the kids are babies. So Todd are gets babies. Um, as many Three Musketeers <laughs> as that man can handle yeah. in one evening. But anyways, this is J. Crew. This is a size eight and this is like the newest label. This J. Crew mm -hmm. piece is from 2024. It is so really it is cute, not even a year old. Really cute like puff sleeve, pinstripe shirt, kind mm -hmm. of a boxy fit. Super adorable. Obviously if this was from basically any other year, I don't know if I'd sell it myself. I'd take it to Turnstone. But because it's 2024, there are people that might find it on the website and then look it up and then find mine. Speaking of, same exact situation here. So J. Crew size small, but again, there's that new label. And this is a really cute like white kind of box. Oh, this is cute. It's like a courier. And it's got almost. this, it's called like the um the bib shirt or something like that. Oh, it's got that bib. That's funny. But again, it's from like this year. Super cute. It's also like really soft. It's almost like a flannel type of color. I'm trying to be mindful of like beard paint in my hands. Me too. I, I have like but... a titch of fake blood, but it's super dry. We're good. Next up. Very Ryan colored. Very Ryan coated. So this is Airy. Oh, it's not going to be for me. What, no, Just kidding. No, which is, as you guys know, becoming like a really solid bread and butter for me. This is a size small, and this is a really good airy piece. It's it really cute. It is literally Kelly green, like the yeah. trendy Kelly green. Mm -hmm. It's still very plush for being kind of like a Sherpa fleece. Yeah, and it's I very like oversized. Ooh, it's It'd be perfect for fall or winter yes. coming up. So super, super adorable. I was really excited. And I'll probably actually mark that a little higher than I would some of the other Aries yeah. because I could see it doing pretty good. This is really cute and really interesting as well. So this is a free people and this is free. a size extra small. When I picked it up, I was like 50-50 on it. I was like- I kind of, do you know what this gives? It gives like early 2000s when they were just like at a sequin. Yeah. At a random scarf or like a t-shirt with a t-shirt underneath it that doesn't make any sense. I was like, either, I was like, like either this is going to be from like 2009 to 2011 and it's going to be like really bad, really bad model picture and everything. Or it's going to be like some really cute like rocker chic. I mean rocker chic. <laughs> <laughs> like rocker shirt and this is actually a really new free people so this good. is an extra small like i said and it has some really cute model pictures and actually it has really good comps so that's fantastic Fun. this would be good for a punk lady be good for new year's Good for all kinds good of people at all kinds years. of times. If you just want to have fun arms. If you just on a regular day at work want to be rock our chic. And rock our chic. Next up is Abercrombie. This so is another so like cute. bread and butter kind of brand for me. This what? is a slightly older label when it comes is to it? the women's pieces. Oh. The men's still uses the blue, but the women's is on to like a white label. I think we lost a, a girl, a green girl. <laughs> A green goddess. A green goddess. She's also <laughs> so, my favorite Trader Joe's name. This is super, super cute. Yeah, I could see it being from the same girl. It's just, it's Sherpa once again. It's a teeny bopper, like, mall brand. But this one's extra small, though it probably could fit a small. <laughs> really cute. And stuff like this from Abercrombie actually retails for, like... It's expensive. Like, 150 Abercrombie plus. is so expensive. It is extremely expensive, which I think is why it's such a good bread and butter. Next up is a free people piece. And this is a bra, but usually I don't do their a bras. A bra. This one, usually I just throw them off to... <gasps> Did you, you get beard no, on it? No, no we're good. I was going to say, usually I throw them off to that one, to Bob over there. But... <laughs> <laughs> but this one is like a sports bra. So I thought it was a bit cuter and a bit more like unique and substantial this, oh. compared to other ones. I do think this is cute. I also like this like window at the back. It's a really soft, stretchy material too. And I can tell that once again, whenever it has this new extra size tag, it's a newer piece. So it's a size medium. And I think that that should do well. It's not gonna rake me in like tons of money because it's a bra, a but bar. I'll take it. Next up is Log and Book. So this is a really good Lagenluck brand. I feel the need to, to, paint, paint, to paint the leaves. 
So this is Comfy USA, which I have had quite a few times and it does quite well for me. This is hmm. not what it normally looks like. So I was kind of surprised. Is this like Comfy Goes Out? It's a size small. Yeah, I don't know. And this is a floral print. Very good like fall floral with the black background. It's is kind it of the top? more warm colors. No, it's a dress. I feel well, dark. like, no. Does it come with a, does it oh, have like a slip? A slip? It? There Other people go. with it listed did not have a slip. I think because you, you layer all the leg and look. So this would go over like 30. 37 tunics and a jacket. Cute. <laughs> Gonna look like an inflated <laughs> fall. And that's how you get all man. of your clothing onto the airplane without having to check it in the back. You know what? I'm about to try that. I'm about to be legging like lady when I gotta travel. So like I said, I've had comfy quite a few times, but it I definitely really don't think I've ever had one that's this cute. I think somebody just rang the doorbell. That was the ring. Oh. Um, I don't know what that is. Maybe we should go check. Do you need to go Here, answer well, I'll pause it. How about you go answer it? But I'll pause it. Okay. Oh my God, I don't want to get up. <sighs> Bob Ross probably also didn't wear little lemon shirts, but <laughs> for the sake of comfort. attacked and they ruined my clothes <clears throat> i do not know what they ruined but we have some things upstairs we're filming a haul right now you want to come take a look actually you know what i i kind of want to get rid of this anyways let's go <laughs> and we're back you guys have to tell me did you think, like, were you fooled? Did you think that I actually accidentally left in and didn't edit out that I saw that there was ring motion or like someone at the door? Did we fool any of you or were you all like, oh, this is a bit, isn't it? Probably. <laughs> probably, you guys probably know us that like it would be. They're like, oh. Yeah, so after a little costume change, a little wardrobe swap, well, at least for me, um, this is actually basically what my Halloween costume is going to be this year. I'm going to be a campy counselor, like an undead campy counselor. So actually, I have a knife that has like red like um, gemstones like bedazzled all over it. And then I'm going to add like red gemstones to all the bleeding parts. So I'm like, I done crystallized. I had done crystallized. <laughs> and I'm going to be a campy counselor. And you're going to be... Um... Andy Warhol, I need to get a black turtleneck and a small gray wig. Your times are running out. Well, tomorrow. When we're filming this, we're both going to the bins tomorrow. So, so that's all perfect. that I have to look for is a black yeah. turtleneck. It's not, I'll go to H now. Let's continue. And not to swap up holidays. So just, I'm not even going to say the word. But this is a holiday this sweater so that I found cute. at the bins. Oh. And yes, we are just like finishing the haul now. So <laughs> this is really cute. It's a 90s sweater from it. what I found from other people's listings. I thought this was really cute. Honestly, you guys know that I will pick up like obviously Halloween vintage sweaters because they sell super good. Christmas, on the other hand, usually does not. There is a There's million so of them. Many, but this one gave more of kind of like, it was more hip. <laughs> more of like a streetwear, like trendier. It doesn't immediately read Christmas. It's not like as ugly sweater as you think of like with the tacky ugly sweaters. It's a little yeah. more like paneled and gridded and I thought it was cute. Okay, anyways, this is a really nice men's piece. So I found like this stack of really nice men's coats and I think they're all in here. I might be missing a Pendleton one that I found, but this one is a Woolrich. Oh my gosh, and I'm missing another one I found. Maybe I'll put like a picture in here. I found a Polo Ralph Lauren barn coat. Oh my gosh. Gosh, it's, it's so really cute, cute. It's and I'm nice sure one. all the vintage people would like like witch trial me about it. But I love it. <laughs> but I'm keeping it for myself, actually, at least for now, because like it's it's so cute and it's such a good like she is really cute. not super freezing cold temp jacket to wear like for in November and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways, this is Woolrich. This is a size large, and this I think is a much newer Woolrich label. Mm -hmm. This is so so nice. Super nice wool, almost like new condition. I think it's called like the Alaska Shacket or something like that. But something I love like this, this color. retails for like three seventy five. Super freaking expensive. She's expensive. So I am mm -hmm. super excited to have found this, and I'm definitely selling it myself. I'll probably list it around one fifty because like Woolrich doesn't keep its value completely, but it no. definitely like if it's nicer like this, it can. Yeah. So this is really nice too. I picked this up and I was like, oh, this is definitely 
cashmere. And of course, it looks like a scarf, so I definitely thought it was a scarf. Mm -hmm. But it is by J. Crew, and it is 50% cashmere, and it's from 2022, actually, even with this label. So more proof that J. Crew just swaps just, like, in and out with accessories labels. or something, maybe? I don't know. Hmm. But this is kind of like an asymmetrical poncho. It's really and it cute. retailed for like $200. So I do love to sell J. Crew cashmere, and I will definitely sell that myself. But like, why? I don't know. Wait, is cashmere like expensive? Is that you yawning? No. I was a surprise. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I eyes. look like one of those, yes, like... Yes, you were yawning. Your I eyes are so... <laughs> what are you they such are a liar? They are not. That was my sad... It's just so highly surprise. emotional about this J. Crew. Tell me why I do look like one of those, like, sad little clowns. <laughs> <laughs> you just need to be those sitting like, there with, like, a balloon what? that's, like, hunched over or something like that. <laughs> you do. You can recycle the bobber. You could literally just swap out with a red wig. Sad clown. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Madewell next. This is an XL, which is a great size this for Madewell. Cute. And it is a slubbed cotton, super good fall color dress. So it is a mini dress. It is not a tunic or anything, but I love this. And I think this will do super good. Whereas Madewell can be hit or miss. This is definitely a better piece. Mm -hmm. Here's another one of the really nice men's jackets. Now this one's not as good of a brand, but it's a really nice piece. So it's Gap. And it is a size large. This is not the newest label, and this is from like 2019 or something. So not super old, but not super new. And it is a completely virgin wool, navy blue bomber. Mm -hmm. Super thick, heavy duty, nice, like ideal brand zipper, which is a higher end brand. Good to know. And just really, really, really nice wool. So I just feel like I have to sell this. I can't get over the fact that I look like a sad clown. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. It's so bad. If you guys haven't realized, this isn't going to be the most center focus no, of all of all time. It never will be. Next oh, yeah. up. Y'all can probably guess what this is just by looking at this. So this is a spirit jersey, and it is a Disney spirit jersey. The Mandalorian one. It has Baby Yoda on the front. I need to start wearing some of my spirit this jerseys. This is a size large, but are there stuff... Is it all unisex sizing? It's so it's all more like a men's like size. Massive. So this would be like an XL women's or a large men's. I saw some people have these listed for like up to 150 or something, but I feel like every time I get a spirit jersey, I try to match the comps, and it I have it forever. So I'm going to list this at 50. Do that. Do with, that do with that info as you will. I'm doing 50 because I hate holding on to them too long. Next up. All right. So we talked about this brand in What's Old Sunday. Mm -hmm. Love this brand. One Absolutely. Of my, one of my favorite men's brands to sell. It is called Taylor Stitch. And I think it just has websites. I don't think it's sold in any stores. Quite expensive. Not like luxury or anything, but has quite the following. So mm -hmm. this is a size 32. And I forget what these are called, but these are a silk linen blend pant in this nice gray. They're Cute. really long inseam. They're like a 34 inch inseam. So they're supposed to be rolled, at least in the model picture. That is so nice though. But I love these like drawstrings, but they also have a button. So they could be kind of cinched in. These are super, super nice and they should do mm -hmm. really well. Cute. Then I also found another Taylor Stitch item. These are also so cute. Again, size 32, so the same dude. And these are olive green corduroy pants. They're kind of like a slim fit. He's already sold. They did? Yeah. <laughs> this is the only thing in this entire haul that's already sold. I feel like you're lying to me. I'm you not. I'll me. show you. Hmm. I wish I could ask Google. She'll tell me right now. Yes, you have an email with a... Shipping label for your Taylor Stitch. Sad clowns don't get nice things. <laughs> Besides, you have corduroy pants. And you I never don't have wear any. these. No, I don't. You have too many of everything. I don't have any corduroy pants. Get out of here, bozo. <laughs> you hear how he talks to me, folks. Get out of your red nose. <laughs> it's Rosisha. Anyways... This is like a slim, skinny fit anyways. You would not wear these. 33 inch inseam. I don't but know why I'm telling I you all this info because now Ryan has revealed have, to you all that this is the I only thing. have the option the to wear them now. The only thing that is sold from this haul. Literally. Is that. This is why when I went to Ikea today and I bought a bunch of Swedish Christmas stuff. You mean Swedish anymore. Christmas garbage? Next up. The sweetest trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You might. Karma got you right away. She says, ah. She says, be nice. Next ah. up, shorts. These are Reformation jeans. But I mean, something like cute. this isn't, it's kind of like, 
Reformation and Aritzia are on a very similar like level. If the it's not basics, good, I'm taking it to the basics. Um, Uptown Cheapskate and stuff like this. Nothing to be super excited about anymore. Mm. I'm gonna have these listed for a little, but I definitely like will consider consigning them within the next like month or two. Oh, give them to my sister. That too. Sorry. But like Here. the coats and stuff from both of those brands, still fantastic. Anything yeah. like substantial, a blazer would be great from either, mm -hmm. but mm, like a pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. Next mm. up is a little faux leather skirt, which you guys know the. This is like nice. My faux arch leather, nemesis though. is faux leather, but yeah, this is a nicer faux leather. It has a cute little slit there. And this is actually by Maeve Anthropology. Cute. And it is a size four. Now, what is interesting when I look this up. This is still full price on their website. Like, this is a in-store right now skirt, and it is $120 new. Can you imagine? So, this is actually something I wouldn't always consider listing myself. No, I would never. So, but I definitely will, because as I said with, I don't even remember what it was now, the J Crew. If mm -hmm. somebody looks it up, just hoping that somebody has it on the pre-loved market, it will be. We got one. I hope she just has four. Yeah, really. And last up... <laughs> Not a finale. A really cute pair of jeans, but the brand is definitely not like the most exciting. It's Shein. I'm just Can kidding. Can you imagine? It's wow. loft. So these, these are, are so cute really, though. Really, 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 really cute loft jeans. And they are from 2023. And these are adorable. These are mm -hmm. also still on the loft website. These are so They are cute. called like the ultra wide light wash. It's really like a basic like name and they're high rise. So they're just, they check all the boxes. Mm -hmm. Super cute, not like a bunch of distressing or anything, which is actually a good thing nowadays. And there is no size. I've looked everywhere for some reason, but I, I've listed them. So if you're they interested, so they're around like an XL, like they're like a 12 or something based on my measurements. Do they have anything on the materials? So There's literally nothing, which is so odd. I don't even see where one would have been cut out and I'm not that used to lock cheap. Angry. That was fun. <laughs> the sad clown is becoming an angry Bob Ross. But anyways, anyway. that's all that we have for you guys today. Cue the monster mask. <laughs> 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 um, I'm Bob Ross, Disney and Channel. you're watching the Disney Channel. Hocus Pocus is up next, and then we Halloween. loved even Steven. Let's go watch Hocus Pocus. What? You never watched even Steven? I don't. You totally just switched into a different language. You never watched even Steven on the Disney Channel? What about Odd Todd? <laughs> Don't talk about my father like that. I want to make this. You show. never watched even Steven. I don't you even really know what did. you're talking about. It was a show. Oh my good lord! Did you I ever told watch, you um, last time when you brought up some reference to Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. You never watched the Sweet Life. You never watched already went any over this, of the Ryan. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. We've already went over this. Did you watch Sweet Life I on Deck? My time watching educational programs like Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy and Ed and Eddie. <laughs> Anyways, please let us know below. What is your Halloween costume for the year? Who are you? And or what, you what are your plans for the night? Are you just handing out candy? Do you have a party to go to? I know it's just a Thursday, but a Thursday is like a better day than some of the other days. Oh, I can't wait till next year. Some people might have a Friday night. Some people might have a long weekend fun. or something. But yeah, yeah, next year we probably honestly will have like the second video of the week that week go up on Friday because we like to time them on Halloween if we can. Yeah. But. Let us know what you thought about our, like, mini version of a Halloween special. Of course, you know this is the Jack Valentine channel. We're not going to not do anything. No, we have to. But let us know, do you miss out on kind of, like, a more campy, full-blown experience? Do you want us to try to plan something for next year? Or did you like just our little, like, titches of... Our little insert Of spookiness. What do you think of our costumes? And otherwise, this is all listed as a reminder. And we will see you guys either tomorrow on the second channel to see our whole like Halloween week lead up to Halloween oh, it's a as good a vlog. One. It's a good week. Or we'll see you on Sunday for a regular What Sold Sunday. We'll see you when you choose to see us. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>